So I gotta be honest with you all, I am just blown away by each time I upload, everybody kinda gets to my video before I can even get there to leave a comment and pen it or whatever. So, appreciate all the support. If you want more of this game, quickly just keep it up. All the likes greatly appreciated since the views won't always update on YouTube. It kinda shows me you're interested. So, alright, love you all. Let's go and get this. Alright, and we're back. Sorry for the weird cut or brand new video. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Finally stopped hey, raining here. It, man, it was going this. crazy earlier. I feel like every time I turn the flashlight on, it's like... It feels like it needs to be on. But then when I turn it off, it's like I can't tell if it's too dark or not. Wait, what's... There's two icons. Let me check the journal. What does it say? Okay, ask security. Got you. Did I spit my skill point? I can't even remember. Yeah, we did. We're chilling. I cannot wait to see what kind of reviews this game gets. You Stick to your business. Getting drawn into the diversions here is more dangerous than you'd expect. This is so strange. This better not be a copyrighted song. I can't be having somebody at YouTube kick my front door in because I left this in or whatever. All right, here we go. You feel like getting zoned? I got what you need. Yeah, you're new here, aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. I don't do Kim's. Interesting. Definitely to try it. Uh, so that I'm not at the Astral Lounge, my friend. In fact, this is the only place authorized to sell Aurora by order of Administrator Bayou himself. And once you buy it, you can use it anywhere in the neon that you'd like. Well, except the spaceport, of course. That must be why they always scan for contraband every time you go to space for this type of stuff. If you take this on the ship, I don't know what they do. Do you get, like, arrested, I wonder? I don't know. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie. The Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? I think you can. Okay. Uh, worried about security. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that one. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is handpicked from the finest officers in the city. Uh, let's see. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Really? Persuade? Uh, 4,000. Wasn't it this exact same amount earlier for something else? We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. Well, so we'll find out. All right, we need uh, four total. Uh, let's see. Surely a business like already has a VIP status. I feel like this one's too aggressive, you know? This one, it's like... I don't know. I feel like it could backfire if we go for the the home run. Let's try this one. Huh. You work for Stroud Eklund? Perhaps something could be arranged. We need two more. Okay. I almost feel like... Maybe we go plus one and then plus another one. I don't know. Glad you understand the position I'm in here. Oh no. This is the curveball right here. Okay. Let's just do this one. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you. If you were still interested. Oh wow, it's a thousand instead of that now. Okay. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. I like how he didn't do anything, really. Hope to see you again. I'm gonna take that. Seems unnecessary. 
I like how he's just saying, I'm gonna do this real quick, and I did it. Like, you didn't do anything, buddy. Boy, Nora. Did you think you wouldn't notice? Hell yeah. What are you doing, citizen? Awesome. Alright, we are VIP now. Go to the balcony. Here we go. What I'm having flashbacks to right now? Not just cyberpunk. I mean, it kind of is, but the beginning of the Blade movie. Oh, that's Barrett. Okay. I was like, wait, who's behind me? I thought these were pools for a minute. Like John Wick. What is on the... Okay. We gotta get across. Keep your nose clean. Last thing I want is to charge you for a DP, A and B, B and E. We're chilling. No, oh, no. Okay. I kind of struggled with this last time. So, it's almost like... That. And then... I think this one. I don't think I fully understood how these work until, like, now. You know? I think I messed up. Can I undo? Let's go back. Okay, here's what I'm thinking, right? This is going to line up perfectly. These two look like they may go there. So let's try it. Done. It's the very first thing we've ever got through to. Interesting. All right, check the door controls. Investigate the cellar. Okay. What about scheduling? Redacted. Rated R. Nice. 5 XP for all that? I'll take it. I just pull out my gun and just start going crazy. <laughs> That's the beautiful thing about this game is you can pretty much do stuff like that. Don't mind me. Just creeping by. All right, we're out of here. Yeah, the beginning of the old Blade movie, the one with Wesley Snipes, when that dude's being, like, led through a club or whatever, and then it starts, like, raining blood. You're like, what in the world? Oh, no, what's it say now? Investigate the cellar, okay. Yeah, this game is definitely legit. I didn't think I would like it as much as I have. Granted, I'm not playing it on console. I don't know how you play this game with a the controller. There's so many commands, you know? It doesn't feel... You remember when, like, Cyberpunk first came out, it kind of felt like, a little bit, like, I guess, lifeless, if you would? This game doesn't do that at all. Look, but you can not control the density of the now people, I, I think. Oh, yeah. Have a moment. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. This looks like that guy that announced the game. <laughs> What's his name, like Todd or something? Um, who's Rosa, yeah. Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sigurd himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Uh, sounds like a smart business to me, yeah. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Secret makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. 
You can't tell me that Todd Howard dude didn't like walk into the office where they're like directing the game and be like, which character am I gonna be? <laughs> like, it looks just like him. Best deals in town. All right, here we go. Uh, I may actually sell. Hold on. Actually, let's see what he has for. I guess. I would never think you'd need to actually buy anything on here. I mean, unless you just want to, right? I put almost all the knives up. All right, let's go back to buy. All right, so what we got? Mostly ammo. I have 60,000 credits. I didn't realize that. All right. Helmets. Uh, I got two of these. Man, this one looks clean. What in the world? I should probably put that on. That looks insanely cool. I don't know. I don't know if I like the actual wording for it. But all right, let's sell. Any kind of duplicates I have, I will probably get rid of. I cannot wait to try this one. An epic rifle. Space suits. Definitely keeping that. Packs. I'll actually get rid of this one and probably this one. Helmets. Let's see. Wait, wait, did I? I must have picked that up earlier. Didn't realize it. I wonder if you can transmog in this game. So what I'll do is probably just switch those around. Apparel. Wait. That actually, I'm going to keep the poncho one. That's actually cool. Kind of reminds me of Jedi Survivor a little bit. Uh, I think we're good. Watch your back out there. We need to get more info, but I want to also just, before I forget, equip this. I think we're good there. Uh, everything else seems fine. Hold on. How many meds? I have 13. Okay. Okay. If he has any for sell, hey, I didn't even look. If you're looking for supply, let me know. I'm gonna probably top off. I'm gonna buy as many as I possibly can. All right, aid. He has like a bunch of other stuff. Hold on. Here it is. I wonder how many I could actually buy. Oh, it's just one. <laughs> That's all you get. All right. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Oh, we gotta do this again? Alright. Information isn't usually free. Alright, Todd, let's get this done. Alright, three turns. We're not paying twice. Don't duck my questions until the seller came through you. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> I feel like you go for the plus two here. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. Done. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I've had enough. Yo, look at these suits. Seagard's gone too far this time. Oh. Oh, I'm not trying to steal. Hold on. <laughs> Just be careful. I want to use my ability here, yeah, I really do. But I also don't want to, like, do damage and start, like, a war, you know? Neon. Here we go. It's been a really, really interesting game. When I first saw Starfield was actually announced, I didn't think, like, okay, it's going to be, like, an open world Bethesda game in space, you know? And that's kind of what it is, but it also feels like a unique experience, you know? I don't believe I could actually compare it to any of the stuff they've actually done. I don't, also don't know what engine they actually used to create it. Alright, here we go. What is this one? Novice! Okay. Let's see what we got. Let's kind of think ahead here. Okay. Now that I actually understand how these work... I almost felt... Hold on. The only way this actually works in the beginning is if you do that one. These are never going to work. Okay. These are further away. Got those. And now we just need one, which is weird. I don't know. None of these have that. Can't put that there. Okay. Let's actually undo. Is there any that are just one? Hmm. 
I'm wondering if they want you to... I could do two here. And then two on the other one. Boom, we got... There we go. Feel free to pause it if you need to. If I read everything out loud, we'd be here a very long time, trust me. I'm not the best reader. <laughs> I've been criticized a lot on that, so I just shut that down a long time ago. Oh, look at the statue. Look at this area. It's actually wild. I'm kind of wondering, so at this point, we're going over there, but can you actually go into a lot of these places? What is all this? Vending machine. Do I get anything? Oh, it just gave it to me. Okay. That doesn't like hop down in the, uh, Frank you know, this reminds me of Bioshock a lot. robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back Would in you kindly? <laughs> All right, talk to Frank. I really don't know anybody in real life named Frank. The only time I've ever thought about that name is in Scarface and that dude. <laughs> he tried to double cross Tony. All right, here we go. Like how we have to like interrupt everybody to speak to him. How are the preparations coming? Uh, it's done. Let's uh let's see. The Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. All right, go to the Astral Lounge. Here we go. I just We're take the, the of some globe or whatever. <laughs> Lobby time! have gotten pretty bad in Epside. Definitely feeling the cyberpunk vibes from this area. I imagine the pile of debris and remains from the city has started to build up in the ocean below the city. All right. And one day it will yeah. reach the surface like now, a conglomerate I don't know what the cellar looks island. like, <laughs> but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? <laughs> All right. I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Ramsey and Travers, okay. the cellar. It's kind of investigating a little bit. Just wait a minute. I think that last drink was stronger than I thought. Yeah, it's what you say, two drinks. Yeah, probably. And what does that say? Hold on, what's the like warning symbol say? Like somebody's slipping or something, I can't really see. Let me check something really quick. Hold on. Locate the cellar. Large security briefcase will spawn. Oh, it actually just tells you the thing again. Okay. Look around. Gotta locate the yeah. cellar and. I mean, this has to be the person, right? Can't interact yet. I gotta get to a stopping point. Can't interact. Hold on. The only one with a briefcase. Sorry. I was lost in the memory for a moment there. How can I help? No, that's all I have to. 
It's like, I interact with him pretty easy. Okay, is there someone else with a briefcase? Because that guy clearly won't let me talk to him. Is he leaving? Yeah, I can't even. Like, he doesn't stop ever, so. Hey, somebody else! Why, okay, why are there two people with briefcases? Briefcase go. Hey, the world. Wait. Take it easy. Shit like a duffel bag. Yo, am I tripping right now? There's another yeah. person. <laughs> I can't get myself seen. Hey, hold on. I really don't know. I'm kind of wondering. Uh, Hell yeah! This is awesome. Can you believe this place? No idea. I'm gonna look around in all the other like side rooms and stuff. Elevators right there. Okay, we can cross that off. Up here maybe. Excuse me. I'm looking for work. You hiring? Uh, how much will it cost me, huh? I think you'll agree my rate is fair. Fifteen thousand. Come on, why is that? We're gonna persuade. Hold on. I'm just gonna go with plus four. Forget it. In my experience, the right offer is always worth waiting for. I mean, I guess that's true, you know. That's true. There's more to a job than just money. Here's what I... Okay, so you get three turns, right? So if you get it on the second one and you still like... Right now, it doesn't make any sense to choose plus one, right? We have to go for that one. Because otherwise, we're not getting it done. So if this is wrong, then it is what it is. If you don't like it, find someone else to deal with. Come on. Any cheaper and we're ordering on charity. I think I'm good. Well then. Goodbye. Fifteen thousand. Yo, what? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. All right. That ain't a briefcase. That's like a pelican case or something. <laughs> what is that? Just saw our seller walk by. Good job. Uh, one step closer to our goal. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that ship in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Uh, close the deal, get the artifact. And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. I like how he never makes eye contact. He's always, like, staring at the ceiling or something. from killing each other I just might have a good day Hold on, what is back here I'm just curious well we got some ribs or something oh that looks like a steak grilled mill how mind if I do sticky fingers all right talk with Barrett what he was back behind us though so you Stroud you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. I'll sit. Yep. So polite. 
almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. I like I'm just like wearing all my armor. <laughs> Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. There it is. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. But your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Grab the artifact. Be reasonable. Uh... Not my problem. It is if you leave empty-handed. We came here in good faith. Now honor our previous agreement. You either figure out a way to give me what I want, or I walk out of here right now. No, you won't. You still need the money. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... Do the smart thing. Take the money. Might have wanted uh, more, but this is still a good deal. Let's see. You can, if I can close the door, is kind of crazy. Fine. This thing is all yours. All right. Well, it's on. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. Uh, I'm gonna just do this. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Well, we need six? Let us go or you're dead. <laughs> That's actually wild. I'm listening. Alright, so we need... I'm really not sure what to go with right here. Not happening. Well, we have to... Okay. Hold on. Let's keep Neon Security out of this. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We better get off the planet quickly. All right, we're rolling up. It's funny they were right there. How do they know the deal was going down? Like at that very moment, you know? A little bit suspicious. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Uh, we need to get some of our backs to see. The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Alright. Well, the ship's been taken, so... Not sure what's about to happen here. We can't... Obviously, we have to finish this area before we can actually go back and explore or go to, like, the next... Yeah, something. Story Next stuff. Story, but this the is the current is one. Hard work. Trust me, I know. All right, here we go. A lot of elevator rides in this mission. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? 
All right, find a new way to the next floor. I mean, security's right here. Get to meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's ridiculous. Let's say access code required. Okay. Why are they running around? <laughs> Gonna make it obvious we're trying to do something weird. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Uh, we got. We always have to persuade. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Okay, we need six. Let's see. Don't stand in my way. Yeah, you're not going to go with that one. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. It's kind of weird. Okay. He did? Oh, yes. I do remember overhearing something about that. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. All that L.A. Noir is paying off. You have a question. You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter. Uh, taking what's mine. Then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Isa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm just gonna go the first one. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Uh, wait, what? Oh, up here. Okay. The one time I actually need my flashlight. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. This reminds me of the Drop Matrix. Down and follow the conduit all the way to the end. Pass the fork. So we're gonna hop down, right? There's two ways out of here. And handcuffs with them, or do what I say. <laughs> Drop down. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hole. It's an advanced lock, though. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, stretch across to the door. Keep going all the way to the end. Allowed to like go past this? I don't know. Like, is this thing gonna spot me? Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Let me just get that for you. Nice. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one. I promise.
This is probably the coolest mission in the entire game. Almost there. Draw on the right. It just feels different from everything else, you know? It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor. Well, I guess after you. Climb the tower? Oh my... Wait a minute. Is there another way or is this the only way? Oh yeah? Love it. Let's go. They're already fighting. There's grenades being thrown. Okay. Alright, at least we're out of the area so we can pretty much free fire. How you doing? Well, they don't need it now. Where'd they go? Too much fire. How did you survive that? That's actually crazy. This is such a cool mission. One, where are they at? I must have fell off the edge. Whatever. We keep it moving. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> uh, call off the guard, Slayton, and release my ship. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although, I do count a few more guns on my side. Let's see, you and Walter... I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Alright, decide as in we can let him go. Let's see. If you wish, you will have the opportunity to tell him yourself. Shortly. Let the thief go with a sternly worded warning or get the authorities involved. Up to you. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us. Oh no, you. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. I also say what to do with you. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. 
They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. You're going to jail, or we can let you go. So, I feel like this is a pretty pivotal point, right? Because while this character had the briefcase and had to, like, did the deal with the artifact and all that, it's like, he's already been hurt. So, I'm going to go the top one. I... Thank you. You're welcome. But if I were you, I wouldn't expect leniency around here after this. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Free to go. All right, Let's go to the ship. Back at the ship. What we got here? Ooh. Give me all that. Like how nobody bats an eye when you steal stuff in this game. All right, now we're just going back to the ship. Seems pretty straightforward, I think. Get going. Mr. Slayton is done with you. It's been such a great game. I've loved every aspect of it. We had like the hostage negotiation early on. The beginning was also really good because you didn't know what to expect, I right? Want this. All right, we're running for it. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Dr. Manning better get his act I really like how they've kind of got... Oh, what does it say? Talk to the... Okay, Doc. I like how they got all the missions kind of structured where you can do, like, sometimes more than one at a time. Right now, it's just one, but... All right, we're headed back. See y'all later. Peace. And we got the artifact. Let's go, baby. I do wonder what's going to happen once we actually get... The entire artifact built. Get all the pieces from the main story. I've heard the game opens up at the end as well. That that part I really don't know if it's true or not. That's just like a rumor. It's all on Twitter. Well, obviously, everything on Twitter is true, so you never know. Greetings, Captain. I have something for you. No, the cool thing is, we really don't even have to actually be in the seat to actually fast travel. We can just do it from the tab or whatever. Deal with the man who wanted us dead. Uh, we got the artifact. That's all that matters. I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Way easier than retrieving an artifact from a mine that's about to get raided by pirates. But I think... Oh, no! A great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. All right, now I can move. Take off from Neon. I wonder if... Do we just go to... Okay, it says take off, so I think we actually have to this time. Hey, did you have time? To I've been thinking about some things. There's so many people talking. Identify yourselves, uh... The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Unworthy? Get right out of here with that nonsense. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? 
Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. Okay, uh... You're just thieves to me. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. The energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Hmm. I don't want to fight. You're letting them strong arm us. Why? I'm not risking it, not even for an artifact. We'll get it back somehow. I'm assuming you have to lose it here, right? Okay, I'm gonna try this and just go for it. Ha <laughs> ha, now we're talking. See you on the flip side. We'll get through this. Hold on. Got a moment? Let's catch up. Hold on, let me go back. Where does it say to go? Way over here? Okay. Go back! Hold on, hold on. Alright, we're out of here. We have a the Helix is we level have 30? Time, that was sick. I'm assuming you have like a few moments to kind of either fight him or just like run. Nice job. Once you're in combat, that's it. We good? Alright, scan complete. Let's go. 